In this video, we will talk about the Magic Wand tool that sits beneath uh, the selection tool inside our tools panel, and it has a handy shortcut of the letter Y. So let me just initialize it, and notice that as soon as I click, uh, let's say, on this uh, sun icon right here, I am selecting both this, uh, well, this sun right here on the left and this sun in the middle. And that's because if I just double click on the Magic Wand tool, you can see that by default, uh, the magic wand uh, selects objects that have the same fill color and that fall uh, within this tolerance value. And of course, since uh, these guys have the same uh, the same fill, uh, well, they are within the 32 point uh, tolerance. So again, if I just click uh, on any item that has a uh, well a certain attribute set within the magic wand tool options, I am going to select all these elements. So just as an example, let me just maybe turn, we'll make this guy just a bit uh, more yellow, if I can say it like that, but I don't, I don't want it to be exactly uh, as our sun right here, so I'm going to make it something like so. And now if I just click on this sun right here, you can see that I am actually selecting all these, uh, all these suns, because they have uh, the fill that uh, falls within this 32 tolerance. However, if I just go with zero, like so, and now if I just press on this uh, sun right here, you can see that I'm selecting only these two guys because they have the same fill attribute and uh, well, this uh, sun has a slightly different, slightly different fill color. And if I want to, I can select elements based on their, on their stroke uh, color. So if I just click on it, and again, let me just maybe make the tolerance, actually, let's make it zero, just like so. And if I now uh, click on this mountain right here, you can see that I am selecting all these guys, so because they have the same stroke color. And if I change this option to stroke weight, and I'm going to go with tolerance, maybe two, and I'm going to deliberately change the stroke to something crazy, like maybe 10 points. And these guys have two point stroke. So if I now just go ahead and click the magic wand tool and now select maybe this, uh, this guy right here, you can see that I'm selecting only this left um, part uh, uh, of, the, of the mountain and only this middle part of the mountain because they have the stroke weight that falls within this two point, two point tolerance. However, if I make it something like 25, Let's see, and now if I just click on this guy, you can see that I'm selecting all these stroke guys because uh, their stroke weight falls within this tolerance value right here. And as far, for, as far as the opacity goes, well, it works pretty much the same. Uh, these uh, two backgrounds have different um, a different opacity. I mean, their opacity is is decreased. So if I just click on this guy, I am selecting both these um, both these uh, well backgrounds, both these skies, because they have uh, the, well the opacity uh, that is um, and that is uh, well turned down to fifty percent, and because because I selected um, first as, as first this uh, this middle background right here, uh, it uh, it tells Illustrator to select all the elements that have um, the the same uh, opacity attribute as this element, and it and that uh, falls within this tolerance um, value of five percent. If, however, I change this opacity value to something like maybe seventy five. And now if I told Illustrator to select all the elements that have the, the opacity like this guy in the middle, you can see that I'm selecting only this guy because only this guy has the opacity that has 50% or, well, plus minus 5% because this guy has the opacity set to 75%. Of course, if you want, you can mix these uh, these options together. So you can uh, select uh, elements that have, uh, well, at the same time, a certain fill color and maybe a certain stroke weight, if you want, and then simply select a certain element and uh, and it will select um, all the objects that have the same fill color and the same stroke weight. So this is how you can use the magic wand tool inside Illustrator. Remember that it sits right here beneath the selection tool and that it has a handy shortcut of a letter Y. And that in order to make it work as you expect it to, uh, simply double click on it to get all these, all these options. And remember that uh, Illustrator will select um, any objects that have similar attributes to the, to the objects, uh, to the object or objects uh, that you, that you clicked, uh, clicked first. So in the next video, we will talk about the last tool uh, inside um, the tools, um, well, inside the selection tools uh, in Illustrator, which is called the lasso tool. 
Before you move on to the next video, be sure to get your copy of the free ebook on Android app icon design that is waiting for you on my website davidtominski.com and you'll find the link in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe to the channel and it would be great if you advised me on how to make these videos better for you and you can do that in the comment section to this video. So as always, have a nice design.